you can tell when your car battery's dying. But with your water heater, you'll never know until it starts leaking. Before you buy another tank, consider a Navian tankless water heater. No storage tank to heat or leak. Lower energy bills and endless hot water for spa-like comfort. All backed by Navian's strong warranty. If your water heater is over 8 years old, it's time to check out Navian at tanklessmadesimple.com. Want it dead or barely alive? Your old or outdated computers, monitors, and televisions working or not? Don't trash it, recycle it. eCycle Washington makes it easy. Households, small businesses, public schools, and other organizations in Washington may drop off unwanted computers, monitors, and televisions at over 300 locations statewide for free. Find the location nearest you at eCycleWashington.org and click on Where Can I Recycle? That's eCycleWashington.org. Your home is going into foreclosure and you feel like a financial wreck. You don't know where to turn for accurate information. I'm bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagné. Let's talk about some legal options. If we work quickly, we can propose a plan to save your home, modify the loan, or in many cases even eliminate your second mortgage. The consultation is free. I've helped hundreds of people just like you make informed decisions about whether to save their home or exit it on a reasonable, organized timeline. The chapter you choose sets the tone for the next chapter of your life. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. Kicks for kids. What is that? We're putting shoes on the feet of kids that need them as we get close to cold weather season, man. These kids are back to school and they want to have good shoes to wear that's got to take them through the whole school season. Uh, you know, and they got stuff they're doing, man. And they need these new shoes. These are kids that, you know, don't, you know, some of them are homeless. And Mary's Place takes a, does a lot for homeless people. And any donation you can give us to get these kicks on those kids would help. Shout out to Chad P. who donated 50 bucks to the cause. Mark P. donated Woo! $100. Yeah. And uh, Alan and Cindy. Cindy's part of the 69 Club. That's pretty awesome. Nice. Alan, he's part of the $50 Club. Also awesome. And uh, shout out to Jacob, who said, uh, Jacob Nugent said, Dude, I'm so happy that the 69 Crew thing took off. As the founder of the 69 Club, I want to thank all of you for promoting it and keeping it going. I grew up poor and relied on kind people like you guys and the Rockaholics to donate food, toys, and jackets during the holidays and throughout the winter months. Brings me great joy to know that I'm now paying it back, and you guys make it easy for me to do that. Stay funky, brothers. Oh, from Jacob. We're, we're happy, Jacob. We're glad we could help out, and that's all you got to do. It, does, it doesn't matter, man. If you can't be part of the 69 Crew, Whatever you can give, a dollar helps. And if you can't, we understand sometimes that happens, but perhaps you can share it on your socials. Maybe your friends could help out. It's Kicks for Kids. Want to thank Mary's Place for you know making sure this all happens. You want more info? You want to make a donation? KISW.com. Let's play B Mix. It's time to play the game. Yeah. So everybody scream his name. B Mix. Don't be a loser. For tacos. Charge out for what? Taco, taco. Or tequila or tamales or any of those fun things. Tequila. Oh, turn down for it. Yeah. Do that. Okay, or turn up. Whatever you want to do. Just <laughs> turnips? don't turn up for turnips. That's okay, the, yeah, turn do down it. for turnips. Oh, turn down for, oh, for um, Animal Crossing? Because uh, turnips are a commodity in that game. Oh, is it really? really? It really is. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah. Me. And uh, that's why people, if you're looking online and you see somebody say, my prices of turnips are really good right now, they're talking about Animal Crossing. Yeah. You know, I, uh, <laughs> I, I, I've, I've said no to that. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the one thing. It's like, guess what, kids? You go on without me. So you're turning it way down. Yeah. So you're not turnips. invited to my island. Then. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> have a good time on your island, Steve. Can you I know Steve. Steve would have no patience for Animal Crossing. It would be like, I, you know, maybe I'm on home all day crossing animals. Huh? That's <laughs> a whole other... I don't, I don't, don't even... Just, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> That'd be funny you know, if I had my... I, that, I have like a secret island. That would be actually pretty great. He yeah. wouldn't know. There's, There's no some way. famous people that actually go to other people's islands and hang out. Like, uh, I think it was Elijah Wood. Yes. And there's some like comic book writers that do it too. And people like freak out. Doesn't oh, shock like Tom me. Hanks and I played it. Yeah. I would jump into people's islands all the time. Yeah. See, that's the thing though. I don't think... I can't speak for Tom Hanks, but it's just not your world, Steve. No. You make I, a character yeah. and then realize that it's a yeah. whole bunch of stuff that you don't want to do yeah. even in real life and yeah. then yeah you'll be done yeah. you kind of feel that well yeah I mean I'm like, 
See, I mean, I don't know why I'm going to walk around my neighborhood in real life as opposed to walk around my virtual neighborhood. That's what we're saying, buddy. We're, we're, we're not we're not faulting you. We know you. Yeah. Let's get to the game that Steve does play. This yes. one, we've got James in Tacoma to take him on. James, are you there? I'm here. Excellent. All right, Steve, get out of here. For those playing at home, James will have 60 seconds to answer 10 questions. James, you can pass all you want, but you will only get three guesses per question. Are you ready? I am super ready. Deep trenches such as the Grand Canyon were formed by what process? Erosion. Yes. Who played Molly on the sitcom Mike and Molly? Um, McCarthy. Uh, Pat. The the restaurants Hooter the restaurant Hooters originated in what eastern state? Uh, Florida. Yes. What Arctic sea whale has one long horn on its head? Um, a Norwalk. Yes. Kit Harrington played which character on Game of Thrones? Jon Snow. Yes. yes. The Impreza and Cross Trek are both cars from what manufacturer? Subaru. Yes. What layer of the earth is right below the crust? Core. No. Pass. What country did Iraq invade in 1990 based on claims of disputed oil? Iran. No. Afghanistan. No. What was the first automobile company to celebrate 100 years of business? Ford. No. No. Melissa McCarthy. Uh, Yes, and you said McCarthy. I was going to give that one to you anyway. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Correct. All righty. That worked. Yeah, that's a pretty good one right there. So he said Chevy and Ford. Those are not the answers. They are not. Oh, my. The answer may surprise you. Oh, my. my. That's a tease slash clickbait. Okay. (laughs) Click on me to get more information. I'm actually right. looking forward to this answer. Get away from me, Danny. Yeah. <laughs> Social it, distance. Danny. Click him. Hey, Steve. I'm busy uh, doing uh, Animal Crossing on my phone. Oh, no. Uh, is it available uh, on your phone? You found it on your phone? I don't no. know. No, you, I don't think it's available on the phone. I thought it was only on the Switch. Yeah, don't put any weird passwords into that. That Steve, might not be something you think it is. It's called Pocket Camp. Oh, no, they do have a Pocket Camp. It's a Nintendo-made app. Okay, then yeah, that sounds like it's Boom. an official thing. What? Really? You can do Animal Crossing on your phone? Uh, apparently. Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. I have no idea what that means. Well, Steve. <laughs> there I am. Oh, look at that. Oh, Fishing. you look cute. That's right. I got hair. <laughs> <laughs> did you really make something? You actually went and did something? Well, I just downloaded the app. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to delete it probably in five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Let's see if it's worth a damn. Well, there you go. Good on you. Thank okay. you. Are you ready to play? Oh, yeah! <laughs> Deep trenches such as the Grand Canyon were formed by what process? Erosion. Yes. Yes. Who played Molly in the sitcom Mike and Molly? Oh, man. Melissa McCarthy. Yes. yes. The restaurant Hooters originated in what eastern state? New York? No. Ooh, Hooters. Florida. <laughs> yes. <laughs> What wow. Arctic sea whale has one long horn on its head? Um, a narwhal. Yes. Kit Harrington played which character on Game of Thrones? The Siege Unicorn. Um, Denalis? No. no. Deraris? No. No. Denali? No. Well, Denali. The Impreza and Crosstrek are both cars from what manufacturer? Honda? No. Impreza. It's Subaru? Yes. yes. What layer of the earth is right below the crust? The sauce. No. <laughs> nice. No. Dirt. No. Water. No. Oh. What country did Iraq invade in 1990 based on claims of disputed oil? Kuwait. Yes. yes. What was the first automobile company to celebrate 100 years of business? Ford. No. Dodge. No. One, two, three, four, GMC. five, six. No, it's a tie. Oh, no song for you, Damn sir. It. Nice Two going, ties. James. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Like the tie. You hang on the line. We'll oh, tell you yeah. what it is that you're not going to get yet. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Okay. Uh, one of the ones that you uh, missed that James got correct, Kit Harrington played Jon Snow. Oh, yeah. I'm not surprised Steve doesn't know that because he knows nothing. Yeah. I don't Steve even... Snow. <laughs> oh, I see hey. what you did there. Mm-hmm. I even know what that meant. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, that's something they kept telling the Jon Snow character. You know nothing. You yeah. know nothing, Jon Snow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that Kip Harrington was a male. I thought it was a female. All right, that's, that's fair. That's kind of a weird, different, yeah. you know, small name. For right the there, world yeah. of geeks and fantasy folks, for the longest time, he was the sexiest man alive in that genre. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, the layer of the earth that <laughs> is, <laughs> as you can tell by Reb swooning. <laughs> the two of you swoon. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> that was Rev. I just yeah. stated it. Rev was the one that decided to go to. 
hey, John Snow country. Hey, he's a handsome man. There's nothing wrong with that. No, not at all. At all. Uh, the layer of the earth that is right below the crust. Is that the magma? No. Is You're it the close. S- oh, the, the... Starts with an M. Uh, molten lava uh, land. No, no. The mantle. The mantle. Oh, I forget the mantle. You did, yes. Yeah. And then finally, what was the first automobile company to celebrate 100 years of business? Is it Edsel? No. <laughs> What's Edsel? Edsel was like the first car. Oh. Yeah. It was Hansel's first girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> Hansel and Edsel. And then she was like, I'm not going to go to that place with you. I think that's a, your, gra- your grandmother is weird. She left him for another dude. Yeah. Wow. Uh, no, it's the Oldsmobile. Oldsmobile. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And they, are they even making uh, Pontiac Oldsmobile, right? Did they merge? Uh, I don't know, but there's no longer in business. Oh. Yeah, that name is no longer I remember used. Oldsmobile. Wow. Yeah, because yeah, you're old. So they were the... Hey, I get it. Mm. Yeah, they were in the uh, the uh, 19th century. So the 18th, late 1800s was when they first uh, went into business. Oh, maybe. I thought Edsel was the first one. Maybe Oldsmobile was... Or either that Edsel just didn't last long. Yeah, I have uh, no idea about the yeah, old Edsel there. Yeah, and Oldsmobile? Yep. Wow, that mm-hmm. is Pontiac. O- I think Pontiac Oldsmobile was like, I think they were absorbed, but I could be wrong. I have no idea. Yeah. Uh, but congratulations to James on tying Steve today. BJ and Migs, mornings on The Rock, 99.9 KISW. Hey, you got something to say? I got something to say. Yeah. They're wild, yeah. rabid, and on the loose. This is Listeners on the Loose. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. It is listeners on the loose. You pick the topic. You guide the show. 206-421-ROCK. Text us at 77999. What is it you would like to speak about? You know you get to, but do remember Steve's rules. And that's to show some energy and bring it. Otherwise, put the gun and then say goodbye. Goodbye, old friend. 206-421-ROCK. Text us at 77999. So I said, BJ, I know that you're new to the world of Weezer, but did you see Rivers Cuomo covering Nirvana from his house? It was pretty cool. I have not seen this. I, I've i heard it. I have not seen it, but apparently he kind of put a new twist to the heart-shaped box song, that, that Nirvana classic. Oh, really? It's him oh. and a piano. Oh, let's give that a listen. I've been locked inside your heart-shaped box for weeks. Hey, wait, I got a new complaint. Forever in debt to you, priceless advice. Hey, wait, I got a new complaint. Forever in debt to you, priceless advice. Hey, wait, I got a new complaint. Forever in debt to you, priceless advice. Did that over Zoom? I would, you know, why am I invited to cool Zoom meetings like that? Yeah, those are the cool Zoom. I would love to know that guy's throat regime. Seriously. <laughs> okay. As, I mean, how does he keep his voice? Because to hit those high notes, you know what I mean? After all those years of singing and touring and everything, you know how? I mean, that's not easy to do. Yeah, I, I, I blow my voice out any time I'm like emceeing an event after one night. Wow. I don't understand how any singer, it doesn't even, I don't care what notes they're hitting. The fact that they're putting that kind of strain on their voice on a daily basis, I, maybe it gets calloused or obviously they know how to warm them up better than an idiot just getting on a microphone and yelling into it like I do. Uh, but, you know, because a lot of those guys, you hear them like before, like if we're backstage, you'll hear some of the, the singers of bands and they're just going through some crazy vocal exercise to get the, get ready for their performance. Yeah, that must be what he does. And he must not drink a lot. Um, it, must, it might be the mustache. He's got a very interesting mustache at yeah. this point according while watching this video. Yeah, that's uh, I'm always imp- I, I, because I, I, I'm always impressed with the fact that he doesn't sound that much different than when they first started out as far as like mm-hmm. the tone of his voice. I mean, it's a little different, but there are bands that can't do it. You know, I mean, the old school bands like I remember Electric Light Orchestra, Jeff Lynn, who had a voice that would hit those ranges. He'd have a guy behind a curtain because he just couldn't do it anymore. And, you know, uh, Robert Plant says, you know, that's one of the reasons why he doesn't want to do the Led Zeppelin songs anymore. Some of them he just can't do. I the text says, please turn this off. <laughs> Well, yeah, I like it. I just wish he would be a better re- recording of it. It's a different version too. I like know? that he went different. I don't want to hear him do like the yeah. Toto thing where he just kind of does a carbon copy of it. Like I like when a band t- twists it up a little bit. Yeah, me too. I mean, it definitely sounds like Weezer. There's no doubt mm-hmm. about it. I mean, and I don't have a problem with it at all. But I do know if you're a Nirvana fan, you're going to be like, that's not what I remember. 
I don't know, man. I think I'm a Nirvana fan, and I think it's cool. Well, I always you, love when Tori Amos, when she covered Nirvana songs, they sounded nothing like a Nirvana song. Yeah, those were good. When she did Smells Like Teen Spirit, it was crazy, but it was awesome. Well, that's why I have respect for you, sir, because you know what? You, you always seem to be open to new sounds, which is, you know, you know and I know, sometimes that doesn't hit everybody that way. <laughs> Someone said, please stop this. It's bad karaoke. <laughs> wow. Okay. But see, again, I'm a that's, Weezer fan. That's I'm all, music, I'm, man. It's subjective, oh, yeah. bro. Yeah, it's what it's all about, brother. You know, but see, a lot of folks don't like Weezer. You know, I mean, that's that's the other thing, too. I wonder if there's a little bias against, you know, the fact that sometimes, you know, especially if you thought old Weezer was better than new Weezer, you know, that can't, those two camps. Yeah. yeah. There was a funny SNL bit about that. I don't know if you've seen it. I have, as a matter okay. of fact. It's pretty, like, oh, it's pretty hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. Was, yeah. Matt Damon was great in that piece. Yeah. It so, where, so, where it's like a hardcore old school Weezer fan arguing with a new, a new Weezer fan. <laughs> and I'm the new Weezer fan. And look, I, 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 look, I appreciate the old stuff too, but <laughs> there were some Weezer fans that said, was it after Pinkerton or whatever? Forget about it. Pretty much. Yeah. Once Matt Sharp left, man. Yeah. It all went downhill. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, I really didn't know Matt left. <laughs> I didn't even know they've had two different bases since yeah, him. I had no clue. I, I just assumed that that guy got old. I was watching like one of their newest videos. I'm like, dude, that guy looks completely different. Oh, that's because he's – I just assumed he got really old because it's been like, what, decades? Turns out, no, that's not Matt Sharp at all. It's listeners on the loose. You pick the topic. You uh, guide the show at 206-421-ROCK. Text us at 77999. Juan in Lakewood, you are on the rock. Hey, morning, fellas. Morning, Juan. Welcome to the show. What you got for us? I got lucky again this morning. Yeah. Oh, is this the is this the guy that always calls us and tells us how much he's just getting well, he just, it? Once he called, I don't know if that's always. It's some other. Uh, well, I should <laughs> say he, I should say he hey, calls well, us to tell how he always gets it. Hey, uh, Steve. Yes. I also do the same thing. As soon as my wife gets, you know, within within reach, I pat her bottom. Right. <laughs> it's the best thing yeah. ever. Look at you and Juan. You know, whoop whoop. And you, it's, 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 it's sorry for a lot of people that don't have that affection. You know that. I thank God we have somebody next to us. Oh, dude! If we're out on a walk, I have to I have to be good about it. Because, but like, there are times where I just want to completely just, like squeeze the butt, man. Just as we're walking, like it's just yeah, it's just fun. <laughs> and she thinks it's hilarious. It's not like I'm doing it like where it's like I'm being a creep. It's just it's, it's, it's I don't know. I just like grabbing your booty. Yeah, That's your thing. Yeah. It's a nice little pat on the back of the butt. No, All right, so so Juan, how many times a week are you still getting it, buddy? With this pandemic. Uh, well, last week we took a break. It was only like three. Oh God, that's a break. <laughs> Jeez. And she she's a dia, she's a she's a dialysis patient. So she's when what? she's up when she's uh, feeling good, that's when I get lucky. Oh well, let's well, hope she's, she's still, still feeling good. good all the time. Yeah, good for you, buddy. Well, today was a good day, and he had to call. I love how he shares it with his buddies. You know what? He yes. had a he had a win, good celebration. Wait, so that's all the, the, the only reason why he wanted to call in to say he got lucky. He just got lucky. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Juan, uh-huh. please do that all yeah. the time. From yeah, now seriously, on. I don't care if it's every day. It's the Juan report. Yeah. It's the positivity we need in this world. Yeah, I mean, if anything, I'm just living vicariously through Juan. Well, yeah. Let's check with Robert De Niro and what he thought about that performance from Juan. Looks uh, looks pretty good. Yeah, that's not bad. Nice. <laughs> oh, you got you got to get Emma Stone in there too. She was on this week. Oh, I didn't know that. But yeah. Brad Pitt had this to say yeah. about it. Looks uh, pretty good. Yeah. I will say this, you know, Robert De Niro and Brad Pitt went outside. Mm-hmm. Emma Stone wouldn't go outside. She just looked out the window. <laughs> Emma was just like, I'm, I'm sorry, John. I, you know what? I, I want to do the weather report from inside. 206-421-ROCK. Text us. It's uh, 77999. Oops, somebody needs some advice from us. Well, That's you it. know us. When it comes to advice, we have it. I just said, <laughs> I need to break up with my girlfriend. We've been together for about five months. Things aren't working out, but I'm afraid that I'm going to hurt her. Plus, right now, it might be a bad time because of all the COVID stuff. But I also have feelings for somebody at my job. Uh, I want to be honest, and I feel like telling her that I'm leaving her for someone else might hurt her too much. My friends think I should make up an excuse. What do you guys think I should do? Here's the thing. You don't have to give anybody any reason for doing anything you don't want to in life. You don't have to. You don't have to have an excuse. You can literally say this. I'm not in love with you. I, I just I, I just do not believe that we are a long-term couple, and I don't think it's fair for me to stay here in a relationship with you when I know that I'm not committed to you. It's harsh, but that's really the truth of it. And it's, I mean, I could see if you guys have been together for five years, maybe a different answer. It's been five months. It's not the end of the world. Yeah. I, I would hope that that person can rebound from that rather quickly. Or just Zoom the two of them together and say, you're going to, hey, I want to introduce you to my new girlfriend. 
Yeah, you don't. No, need, that's you not know, how you use Zoom. No, it's that's not how, how we it. use Zoom these days. No, you don't use Zoom that way. Oh, well, actually, maybe you do. I mean, you can I, screen honestly, record it and put it up on the internet. You'll be a viral sensation. Oh, yeah, there you go. definitely put it on the internet. There's no uh, doubt about it. And in the end, it'll work out for her because there's going to be a bunch of thirsty dudes that are going to be hitting her up in her DMs, and she'll find somebody better. Yeah, uh, Vicky, any any advice you want to give this gentleman? Yeah, basically the same thing. It's been Zoom five it. months. Oh. Yeah, Zoom it. But it's not going to be as hard as if it was a year or you know five years. And I feel like if you're going to continue on with this, it's only going to hurt her more. I think we should go to somebody who we know will cry at any given moment. Danny, well, how about you? Because, I mean, he's worried about hurting her. Danny, of course, you know, uh, if there's anybody that could cry at any moment about anything, Danny, he's a good, you know, canary in the coal mine for this. I'm not, I could be wrong. But I feel like of everybody in this room, Danny probably would be the worst at breaking up with someone. Oh, I'd be terrible. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I, at that point, this story almost makes me want to cry. So I say, zoom it. But maybe wait till after COVID. You actually, though, had to do this, Danny. You yeah. know, I mean, granted, it was not I mean, a five month relationship. This was much more, in, much more intense, much more investment, as well as a child involved. Yeah. Um, if you could go back and do it differently, maybe uh, you could give him some advice because you know what you did in order to end your relationship. And um, if I'm not mistaken, Danny, I mean, I don't, I don't know if you did or not, but maybe there was uh, somebody else that you were thinking of at the time. I can't remember, but it feels like you might be in a, you were in a similar situation. Any sage wisdom you can give this man? Yeah, no, there wasn't anyone, anyone different for either of us. It was just kind of the relationship. And the only thing that I will say is that at that point, you need to do it way earlier. Like I would have done mine way earlier if you, I could have. You pushed it off? Yeah, I pushed it off because I didn't did you, want. Did I, you end the relationship and say, I'm moving to Seattle? Was it like that? No, not at all. Or did you wait till you moved to Seattle and say, "Ah, sorry, I'm not home anymore." Oh, by the way, I moved out. Yeah. yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been epic. That would have been so epically good. wrong. Yeah. The, the divorce had started before Seattle even became a thing. Gotcha. But that that being said, I would have just done it super like way before because I I realized that I didn't want to hurt her, and at that point, I hurt her that much more by right. saying, well, "Hey, this isn't working out for either of us." And it was like, well, so at that point, if you're if you're feeling that five months in, yeah, you should do it now. What I would say. To too. I mean, this is, you know, I, I would be remiss if I didn't. We are obviously not professionals. This is, I mean, you could go to somebody professional who will give you really, really good advice because really, there's no reason why anybody should have to stay with anybody they don't want to. It's just we make up stuff in our head and that's where if you talk to a professional, I don't care. I need a change. You've been cold to me too many times. You're wasting money. You're a leaker. So I'm replacing you. With a new Navian tankless water heater. No more cold shoulders. No more leaks. Just spa-like comfort and Navian peace of mind. And oh, I want you out today. When you're ready for a change, ask your plumber about Navian or visit tanklessmadesimple.com. Count on Navian. Wait. Don't trash that used or broken computer, monitor, or TV. Do the right thing. Recycle your unwanted or non-working electronics for free. You can recycle computers, monitors, and televisions with eCycle Washington. Households, small businesses, public schools, and other organizations may drop off unwanted TVs, computers, and monitors at over 300 locations in Washington State for free. Find the location nearest you at eCycleWashington.org and click on Where Can I Recycle? That's eCycleWashington.org. Who it is. Sometimes it could be your pastor. Sometimes it could be a therapist. I don't know. Anybody who you feel feel like is qualified to help you, uh, I would definitely do for any big life decision. I think men need to understand you get coaches in so many things in life, but we don't do it with stuff like this. Well, with that, with Cameo out there, get Mike Tyson to do it for you. Oh, you wow. Now you're talking because if I am going to be dumped, to be dumped by Mike Tyson would be pretty cool. DJ and Migs, mornings on The Rock, 99.9 KISW. BJ and Migs, mornings on The Rock. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. Listeners on the loose, you pick the topic, you guide the show. 206 421 Rock, text us at 77999. So we got this text and it's about food. I'm very excited to ask this question to everybody in the room. All right. All right. So it's on the Facebook page. I saw you guys had uh, the ice cream poll uh, story. Um, uh, so as a spinoff of uh, that, I want to ask you guys a question. Uh, you have a nice fresh waffle cone. What three flavors are you stacking in that waffle cone from bottom to top? For me, it's butter pecan, pistachio, mm. and butter rum. Ooh, butter rum. I haven't heard of that in a while. Yeah. I forgot about butter rum. Butter pecan was, was a go-to for mine for a long time. 
It's long, butter on like those time. like those candies. Is that uh, that same kind of flavor? Kind of like the Werther's, yeah. 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 No, yeah. I, mean, I don't think I've ever had that as an ice cream flavor. Oh, yeah. It's good oh, stuff. Yeah. It's good stuff. Okay, so three Ooh, flavors. Ooh, that's good stuff. I think I'm going to, on the bottom, I'm going to put um, salted caramel. Good call. Yep. In the middle, I'm going to put um, salted caramel. Okay. And then on the top. <laughs> Hold on a second. Wait, wait, wait. Mix it up on the top. Give it, a, give it some thought. Salted caramel. There we go. <sighs> that's solid. That's a, actually a really good go on that when one. When I used to go to Molly Moon's, we would get – when I first started going there, I would get the salted caramel and then their vanilla because their vanilla is incredible. But then after a while, I'm like, well, I'm really just excited to get through the vanilla so I can enjoy the salted caramel. So then I was like, I'll just get two scoops of salted caramel instead. Good thought. Yeah. Very, very, very good with. thought. Dude, for me, it has to be <clears> – excuse me, frog in my throat. Uh, I'd want to do Neapolitan in the bottom. Oh, okay. And then vanilla. Isn't, isn't Neapolitan – isn't that – that's three Vanilla, different strawberry yeah. and chocolate. Yeah. Okay. So the three flavors together. That's cheating. It is cheating, but that's how Vicky rolls. That's how she gets five flavors. It's, it's, it's the loophole. It is a loophole because it is one flavor and it it's is three flavors. Flavor. Like, yeah, yeah, it, it is. is. It's a loophole, and I, and I, and I, I, I it's a name for three flavors. But they're mushed together, and it makes it. Its it own comes flavor. in one box, but mm-hmm. separated. They're not mixed together as one flavor. Well, when you go put that scoop in, they mix together. I'm really have a hard time with this. They charge you the too. same like price. <laughs> they don't charge you triple. And so I mean, Vicky's Fine. loophole works. Jesus. Fine. <laughs> I win. Uh, then vanilla as kind of my palate cleanser, but French vanilla. Wait, there's vanilla in the Neapolitan. No, don't, don't ask. Don't Danny. ask. Don't ask. <laughs> You're wrong. Hold on a mask. second, Danny. It's, it's French vanilla. With those you little speckles. savage. Okay. And then what, vanilla bean on top. No, and then I go with butter pecan. <laughs> okay. so oh, I can transition between the three. I actually, you know, I mean, Vicky's given this a lot of thought. Normally, I want to say she's stupid, but I'm I'm with her on this. She's one. getting a lot that, of flavors. I think there's a brilliance to this entire creation of hers. Thank you. All right, what about you there, BJ? <laughs> All right, Steve. BJ, <laughs> I guess I'll tell you. Um, gotta have, uh, gotta have salted caramel on the bottom because I want to get to it. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm gonna Save have the best for last. I'm gonna chop Rocky Road in the middle because that'll just be an S show of everything. Which is what I want. And I think I'm going to start off with um, a good vanilla bean because I'll go from vanilla bean, work your way into massive it. chocolate, but then get back to the, the wonderful nature of Rocky Road, of, of salted caramel. I think those flavors will all mix together and I'll be able to taste them all. Unless someone's like, well, Steve, salt and caramel are two different flavors. Stop. <laughs> Here's the problem. When you, you argue don't get salt over, ice cream and you don't get caramel ice when cream. you argue over these things, talk to a circular arguer. Uh-huh. I'm telling you, you're going down a you're going down the Wonderland pit, my friend. You got to let Vicky be Vicky, yeah. and you got to let Steve be Steve. That's all I'm saying there. So, let all right, Steve uh, Steve. Rev, uh, what could you add to this fine um, festival of treats? On the bottom, I would go with cookie dough. Because I like all of the different textures at the bottom of that. Yeah, it's well, technically two flavors. Yeah, man. it's cookie and what? dough. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm okay. just saying, man. <laughs> You're <laughs> effing it all up. Next up, I have to go with Steve with the salted caramel. Nice. Like, it's just a really good middle right there. Uh, and then I'd start it off with cookies and cream on top. I used to be a cookies and cream guy. Oh, it's so I've, good. And, and, I'm, and I've, I've, I've fallen off the cookies and cream bandwagon. But you're right. I'm, I've always loved it before. But I, maybe salted caramel has just come in and kicked its butt. It's really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Danny? I'm actually really close to Rev, which is weird to me. Hmm. Uh, cookie dough on the bottom. Okay. Because that's my favorite of all time. Yeah. That's and crazy. I want to eat that last. That's crazy. Cookies and cream in the middle. Ooh. And then the Netflix and chill on top. Oh, that is such a good What one. is the flavor of Netflix and chill? It has like pre- pretzels and uh, peanut butter. Oh. And- it's the best flavor of Ben and Jerry's has ever created. Yeah. All right. I want to put that on top. Well, See? No. I, uh, I don't know what would be more salty, though. Would that be more salty than salted caramel? Because I don't want to be able to not taste something. That's the toughest thing about having multiple of anything is you want to be able to taste it all, and you got to know which one should go first. Salt. I mean, you've got peanut butter ice cream with sweet and salty pretzel swirls and fudge brownies. Oh, oh wow. See, and you get the chocolate on oh. there because you only got a little bit with the Oreos and the cookies. Yeah, so that's mine. Yeah. We just had the uh, half-baked one, the not the dairy-free version at our house, and oh. it's so good, too. What's it's in half-baked? Chocolate and vanilla ice cream mixed with gobs of chocolate chip, cookie dough, and fudge brownies. Oh, so good. You know what? I mean, I'm not a cookie dough guy, but I like everything else in there, so I think I'd stomach the cookie dough. The Tonight Dough one is really good, too, and it's like the one with Jimmy Fallon on mm-hmm, it, mm-hmm. and that one has like peanut butter cookies and chocolate chip cookie dough mixed in like chocolate ice cream. So good. And I don't know what they're doing if they're lining it with crack, but their dairy-free line is insane. It's so, it tastes... 
You wouldn't even know it was Look dairy at the free. Ingredient. It's the first ingredient on there, crack. Crack. Yeah. Yes. I mean, geez, it's right there. I, I, I did not know that. Yeah. And they have so many different types of non-dairy kinds. Like we had the milk and cookies one. Oh, so good. The problem is, is you're not looking at it for the, a, a sense of calorie counting. You're just you're getting it for veganism. I have no idea if it's better or worse. Usually, something that tastes really good, it's probably got some calories. I feel like it's 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 maybe a little bit better calorie wise, but not much. Yeah, not enough to be like, oh, I can eat a whole pint, right? Because it's no dairy. Yeah, that's the yeah, that's the problem. I, I you know since you brought up Ben and Jerry's, I might have to make a switch. Oh, it was the peanut butter half baked one. Yeah, so it had peanut butter in it as well. I'm sw- I'm going to switch. Okay. Ben, I forgot about Ben and Jerry's. I am going to take out the vanilla on top. I am going to go with the Cherry Garcia. That goes on top. I don't know if I've had Cherry Garcia. Oh, it's good. Someone said, you guys are wrong. Fish food is the goat when it comes to Ben and Jerry. Haven't, yeah, Fish you, food is really good. Haven't, you know, when we, and Bellevue Square has a Ben and Jerry's ice cream shop. I should go in there and just go nuts when they open that place up again. Ah, just go in there now and go nuts. Dude, you know what? I love Kick to. Kick the door down. I love to. I mean, you know what? <laughs> My favorite moment was the last day of the mall when they were like, okay, we got to close. Everybody get out of here. And there was nobody there. I was like, I want this to be like this all the time. Can I have the mall, please? So he says, you guys are killing me. I'm going for ice cream for my morning break from yeah. Corey. Good job, Corey. And then person, Stephen Colbert's American Dream ice cream from Ben & Jerry's is the best. I didn't even know Stephen Colbert had an ice cream. Yeah. So, so, so. I still haven't had sweaty balls, but yeah. I've heard that one's good. So how do you feel if you're Jimmy Kimmel? Yeah. Like, do you, you know feel what I mean? ignored? Because Stephen Colbert on CBS has got an ice cream from Ben & Jerry's. Of course, uh, the Tonight Dough. For, and, and, but Jimmy Kimmel, nothing. I'm shocked Letterman doesn't have a flavor. Or did he? Did they have like a late night flavor or something like that? or Because I feel like Letterman is like right up Ben & Jerry's alley. I don't know I, why. You know, I don't know. I, I don't remember ever hearing anything about a, a flavor of ice cream uh, for, uh, for anything on television until Sweaty Balls. And uh, so maybe it was before the time when Ben & Jerry's thought of doing something like that. Yeah, I'm not sure. I know, like, I remember watching a special on Ben and Jerry's, and they have like a little spot at their place. It's like a funeral site that is like honoring the dearly depinted. It's the flavors that didn't do well. Did very well. Like, I want to, I want to go there and like try the ones that didn't do well, just to see what they taste like. But like, yeah, they have them all set up like with little gravestones, and like it tells you what was in them as well. So I'm gonna, those guys love pot. I I, I got to imagine. Oh oh, yeah, (laughs) dude. Maine is basically Massachusetts, where everybody smokes. That's what Maine is. It's mm-hmm. just like everybody knew that they they, they said we got to get the hell out of here and chill the f out. So you're right, man. Maine is uh, that's the only Maine could create something like the that. flavor graveyard. Yeah. Oh, sweaty ball, sweaty balls is part of that. I didn't no! know it passed. Oh, R.I.P. Sweaty. Your New York almost came out in that one. I, I hey, appreciated it. Hey, hey yo, hey. turtle balls. soup. What the hell was in turtle oh, soup? Oh, turtles probably. Oh, and yeah, turtles those are candies. Yeah, turtles are awesome. Oh, okay. I was going to say for a second, it was vanilla ice cream with fudge covered caramel cashews and a caramel swirl. That's turtles. That sounds so good. It Why would you good. kill it? It died, Steve. It's natural causes. Wavy gravy's dead. <laughs> yeah. Wait, gravy? Well, I don't it's know. It's got to be. It's, there, there's not gravy in it, right? No, but no. They're, they're probably you know not so much the flavor, but named after the dude. Caramel. A lot of caramel stuff seems to die. Uh, cashew Brazil nut ice cream with chocolate hazelnut fudge swirl and roasted almonds. It, it, it lived a good life though, from two, 1993 to 2001. You just, you know what I'd like to see is if they actually just take some of these and repurpose them. You know what I mean? Oh, I bet. It's a whole Change, different, like, add yeah. peanut butter to it. It's a whole yeah. different thing. Yeah, like salted caramel instead of what wavy gravy had going on. I haven't had ice cream since the pandemic. I don't know the last time I've had ice cream. What? What? I, I had some last night. I know. I, 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 I'm surprised in myself. I mean, they, there's grocery stores and everything have not had ice cream. I think it's probably Sarah because she won't let me have anything oh, anymore. Oh, man. I got it delivered to my house. Oh, That's man. great. That's right. Ice Cream Social delivers to them. Uh-huh. I'm very sad that this one only lasted a year. It's the peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter ice cream with peanut butter bits and strawberry jelly swirl. Yeah. I have to Ooh. tell you, Ooh, I'm you not- You can resurrect the flavor. I um, <laughs> I'm not too sure I go for that. I, I I could see why peanut butter and jelly died. I mean, of all the and when I go get ice cream, I'm not sure I want to. But you could have it with your peanut butter whiskey. Yeah. Okay, I could. I guess you can make a shake. Oh, oh, oh yeah, boozy man. shakes are great. Boozy shakes, I could see. All right, you, you're starting to turn me around a little bit. A little bit with this. A slight arm twist. Yeah, but then again, you give me alcohol, so everything tastes better with alcohol. Someone said uh, you can mix your peanut butter screwball with the new whipped coffee trend. If you want to have like a little peanut butter uh, oh, whiskey coffee, yeah. oh, I'm going to do that. That's a fact. That, that that you know, I mean, I've got look, I got Kahlua, I got Bailey's, and I will be glad to add the peanut butter whiskey to my my weekend coffee ritual. It's so good. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited. I'm mm-hmm. very excited. 
Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. He's here right now and has agreed to answer more of your questions about bankruptcy. If I call Travis, will I actually see him or someone who works for him? Absolutely. When you come in to see my to my office, uh, when you first call in, my staff will try to help you with with any basic questions that you have. Uh, I can give you a call back, uh, but they'll schedule usually try to schedule you for a free consultation with me, the attorney, and I'll meet with you personally. We'll talk about your the basics of your case and i'll take you through a question and answer session that usually last an interview that usually lasts about 30 minutes uh, where we'll get the basics of your financial situation i can answer your questions and we can talk about whether bankruptcy makes sense your uh, your non-bankruptcy options uh, and how bankruptcy could affect you what the process is thanks travis if you have more questions about bankruptcy you can reach out to travis anytime at choose the right chapter.com that's choose the right chapter.com. Thanks for listening. If your tank water heater is over eight years old, you may be sitting on a ticking time bomb. It could start leaking without warning, causing far more damage than the loss of the heater itself. Consider replacing it with a Navian tankless water heater. No storage tank to leak, endless hot water for spa-like comfort, longer life, and backed by Navian's strong warranty. Before time runs out, visit TanklessMadeSimple.com for the name of your Navian contractor. Count on